Four Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force have arrived in France to take part in the Bastille Day flypast in Paris on 14 July, in which Prime Minister Modi will attend as the guest of honor. A 269-member tri-services contingent of the Indian Armed Forces have also reached Paris on board two C-17 aircraft. As per the charge sheet, the DRDO lab director and scientist who was recently arrested under the Official Secrets Act has leaked sensitive information about classified defense projects to a Pakistani intelligence agent. The lab director has shared information related to BrahMos launcher, Akash missile, Astra air-to-air -air missile, unmanned combat aerial vehicle and Tapas drone. The Pakistani agent asked whether the Agni-6 launcher test has been successful, to which the director responded, that the launcher is my design babe, and it was a great success. Ten units of the Astra Mark II missiles are currently under fabrication, that will be utilized for user trials in the coming months. The DRDO is also making efforts to optimize the missile's performance further through software and hardware upgrades, and is conducting studies to explore flight profile modifications, and fine-tuning various aspects of the missile that will extend its range beyond the existing 160 km. The DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics have reached an important decision, that a substantial portion of fuselage of AMCA prototypes will be partially built by private sector companies, and HAL will then assemble these components at its facilities. The subsequent manufacturing of production variant of AMCA aircraft will be carried out at a separate facility, which will be owned by a new company created under special purpose vehicle, in which the majority ownership will be held by a private sector company, while HAL will have a minority stake. The DRDO is developing a Gatling air defense gun for naval warships. It will be equipped with electro-optical and radar-based tracking and targeting systems, and will utilize artificial intelligence for optimal weapon selection and autonomous engagements. It will provide 360-degree coverage and act as a close-in weapon system, to defend against various threats including enemy aircraft anti-ship missiles and small manned and unmanned vessels. Indian Register of Shipping has made an exciting announcement regarding its collaboration with Cochin Shipyard in the construction and certification of six next-generation missile vessels. The IRS will play a pivotal role in the project by conducting various technical analysis validations and certification on the advanced stealth features during the design and construction phases, ensuring the highest standards of quality and performance of these vessels with powerful strike capabilities. The Indian Air Force is still awaiting approval from Russian officials to proceed with a multi-phase deep upgrade of its 150 Su-30 aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics is leading the project as a prime industrial contractor, and has proposed a majority of Indian system upgrades. However, the final go-ahead from Shukhoi Corporation is crucial to ensure a smooth upgrade process, and continued support of the OEM throughout the life cycle of the aircraft. The Defence Ministry has signed a contract with Hindustan Aeronautics for the procurement of two Dornier aircraft for Indian Coast Guard at an overall cost of 458 crore rupees. The aircraft will be fitted with a number of advanced equipment including glass cockpit, maritime patrol radar, electro-optic infrared device and mission management system.